Dell has so many laptops coming out all the time, we would need a separate team if we had to review every single one of them. They also play around with the build materials, offering multiple variants of the same device. The Latitude 157350 is a prime example, offering both carbon fiber and aluminum. The metal laptop weighs significantly more, with an increase of around 200 grams. We went for the lighter model, with a carbon fiber chassis which stops the scales at 1.54 kilograms. Despite that, it is still very rigid and sturdy, showing little to no flex. The lid opens easily with one hand and houses a webcam, IR face recognition sensor, proximity sensor, and a privacy shutter. It also acts as a lever, lifting up the rear end, something that helps the ergonomics and cooling. The keyboard and touchpad are a great combo, with long key travel and clicky feedback for the board. The touchpad has a glass cover and an NFC coil behind it, which can be used for further authentication with a chip or a card. On the sides, we find the input-output, which feels well selected. There are two Thunderbolt 4 ports, two USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 ports, an audio jack, optional smart card reader, HDMI 2.0 port, and a SIM card tray. On the front, you're looking at a full HD IPS panel. While there is a 4K display available as well, we went for the more affordable variant. The Full HD screen provides good viewing angles and no PWM usage, but the 265 nit max brightness might be a bit low in bright rooms or outside. The color reproduction also isn't good with about half of the sRGB gamut being covered. We expect the 4K variant to be much better and suitable for professional work with colors. We chose a configuration with the larger 58 watt hours battery unit, which lasts for 10 hours and 36 minutes of web browsing, or 7 hours and 13 minutes of video playback. If you pick the 4K display, you can expect worse performance out of the battery, since you have to power more pixels. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. Powering the Latitude 15 is the Core i5-1245U, while there are a lot of other CPU choices. The Core i5 performs out of its mind, reaching a very high Cinebench 20 score. On the other hand, the iGPU should have done much better. Keeping the temps in check is one beefy heat pipe, a heatsink, and one fan. With a simple setup, we see the CPU struggling to maintain a higher power limit. It ran very hot, maxing out at 97 degrees Celsius. This also means that the base gets quite warm, with a hotspot on the function keys that reaches 47.5 degrees Celsius. During the stress test, the fan was very quiet, and couldn't even be heard during regular use. The carbon fiber bottom panel is held together by 8 screws and reveals soldered memory and only one M.2 PCIe X4 slot for generation for SSDs. For more information about the teardown process, check out our detailed video. The Latitude 15 definitely has premium qualities, like the design, input output and performance. On the other hand, you're paying a pretty penny for it, so to see such mismanagement in the cooling department is disheartening. However, if you don't plan to put it under extreme workloads, it will do the job great. The display also could have been brighter and with better color coverage. Well, if you need that, go for the 4K variant. At this price range, you can definitely look for an H-series or a P-series laptop that sacrifices some portability, while delivering a better overall computing experience. We'll leave the MSI Prestige 15A12UX as an example. Of course, we've done a lot more tests and you can check out all the results in our in-depth review on LaptopMedia.com. You'll find the link in the description below the video.